What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back with another channel message. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. If you are new to this channel, all that I ask is that you hit the like button, okay? So I'm going to address another download I got. I'm picking up on someone who is having a hard time letting go of the past. This person has always been seen in a certain light to the world, okay? And they're trying to hold on to that image of themselves, but the world has left that image of them behind long ago, okay? The world sees them in a different light because of the, their recent actions, how they've been behaving, the choices that they've made, how they've presented themselves to the world. And so they're still trying to hold on to this old, perception of themselves, but nobody ain't buying it no more but them, okay? So we're going to see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about that because I'm picking up that it's like God is saying, it's time to grow. It's time to let go. One eleven on the phone. It's time for you to accept the consequences of your actions and how it has changed your outlook, people's outlook on you, how they view you as well as your own future. Okay, things ain't the same. You're not that same person that you keep trying to portray yourself to be. So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? Messages, please and thank you. One more show for y'all. Let's do one more. What is the messages from the universe regarding this download that I received, Holy Spirit? What would you like for us to know from you through me, please and thank you? We have the Ace of Pentacles. This woman used to be seen as an Ace of Pentacles now. Okay, I'm going to give her that now. People did used to really view her as a true Ace. A very good catch. A very gifted person. Beautiful person who was blessed. Okay, that was people's interpretation of her in the past that's who she portrayed herself to be but this woman has gotten caught up by her own behavior and i'm here in recent years and months like over these past couple of years or so this woman has done things that are truly out of an ace of pentacles are truly out of character for an ace of pentacles okay a lot of deceit deception lies manipulation this woman and did all kind of shit and she didn't got caught up for it so now that she didn't got caught up for it she's wanting to hold on to this ace of pentacles energy that she used to portray but ain't nobody buying that shit because people are well aware of this seven of swords energy she's in she in the nine of wands now because of her actions and because you know ain't nobody buying it they ain't buying it no more. She continues to try to sow these seeds like, you know, she is some type of abundance. 333 was just on the phone. I was trying to think of the word. I was hearing. Like, she want people to think she still got it going on, but she don't. She want people to think that these seeds that she sow are producing some type of benefit for her, but they're not. And she ain't getting it. I feel like she's also upset because part of the way that she exposed herself to the world in this perverse way in the Seven of Swords energy is over a relationship, over a connection. This is when her true colors started shining through. When she was in this Two of Cups connection, okay? This is what I'm hearing. And so it's like... She got caught up. I'm trying to tell y'all. This woman got caught up. People see her, her true colors based off of the choices that she made. Okay? The actions that she took in this Two of Cups relationship got her caught up. We have the King of Wands. It may have been a King of Wands who she was dealing with. But as we can see, for him to come out as a King of Wands, obviously... They ain't together, okay? A king of wands is a single dude, period, okay? A king of wands, to me, in the a king of wands and a king of swords are my single man cards and my nine of cups, okay? 
And this man is single. Look, your high priest is trying to tell you now. But I feel like he realized that this woman wasn't the Ace of Pentacles like he thought he was. That there were some secrets and some things about her that he wasn't aware of. And it came out during this connection. That's what I'm hearing. Like... She always was able to portray herself in this Ace of Pentacles energy. But whenever she got to dealing with whoever this King of Wands is, people were able to see who she truly was. It's something like that here now. We have the Eight of Cups. He was able to see who she truly was as well. And he walked away from her. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Three of Cups. He walked away from celebrating with this woman. And I feel like he moved on to celebrate with another. He transformed his life in another way. And that's what started the Knight of Wands action. That's what started the bold and erratic behavior that people felt like was way out of character for this Ace of Pentacles energy that they've always known and seemed to be an upstanding type of stellar energy okay the way this woman was behaving with this knight of wands energy about this king of wands people were very shocked and appalled we have the nine of cups and i think what shocked and appalled them even more is that she seemed to get satisfaction out of her behavior like she felt very smug and satisfied about what she was doing okay until she was exposed, until she was made to look like a fool even because of the actions that she took, hoping to get certain risks, not the risks that she took, the actions that she took, hoping to get a certain outcome, had her out here looking like a fool, nah? looking very foolish, looking like, what are you doing? This can't be this Ace of Pentacles energy that we've always known. Okay, but you're doing all of this over a love choice. Okay, I'm telling you, people have really changed their view on this used to be Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, she's sitting in the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords now and the Five of Swords for trying to win at all costs with this King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. This love choice that she went crazy over, look how she grabbing him. I feel like this woman went crazy over a man and the things that she did during this relationship really made people pull back from her. She, she is taking a loss in a lot of ways because people did not know this woman could act the way she did. That's what I'm hearing, okay? That is what I'm hearing. And she's still trying to, she trying to get her, look, we got the Ten of Cups. She trying to make her future right now. After she didn't did all this shit, she trying to piggyback and portray herself as this Ace of Pentacles to, in hopes that her future will be better, okay? That things will look up for her after all this, this damn, I was about to say wayward. I'm telling you, that's the word. I'm telling y'all, that's the word, Nah. People really been out here like being very perverse. You know, like you don't even know how people is get is given these days that you can't tell how people are going to behave from one day to the next. People flip flopping so much. And then the actions that they take when they flip flop, it's like, what the fuck? Okay. So, you know, that's where she at. I'm getting that. She trying to flip flop. Like she was acting this certain way and now she want to go back to how she used to be. A queen of pentacles energy. Somebody very gracious. Okay. Some, do this person look like they be getting out of, they would get out of character? Do this person look like they would be out here showing out? I'm picking up. I had kind of started pausing because I was seeing some things. This woman has been out in public showing her ass about this king of wands, y'all. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. So, but now she's trying to portray her look, judgment. If you could have seen my face, child, just now. Okay, I'm trying to still show my face. And I'm like, I'm trying to tell you now, 
this woman is up under heavy judgment okay because she out here now trying to act like this queen of pentacles energy but people ain't going for that shit because they done seen how this woman showed out in public behind this man possibly on social media as well clarify that holy spirit like she i picked up ooh child the tower i done picked up on some shit now like i said the high priestess know some things they ain't gotta tell everything but i'm telling y'all i seen something and let's just say that this woman this ace of pentacles energy wants the, who used to be an Ace of Pentacles energy, this woman was out in public, like in a parking lot, showing her ass behind this King of Wands. And people was looking like, what the fuck? Like they never would have thought that this woman would be out here like that. And I'm telling you, she, she need to give it up and go home. It's that type of vibe. It's time to do some true soul searching and some healing. 1111 on the phone because it's something underlying that would even make her go this ham over a relationship to the point that people don't even see her as the same person anymore. Look, she she really had to give up that relationship after this last tower energy I'm picking up on. Possibly when she did something publicly against this man, towards this man. She had to give up on that Ten of Pentacles partnership she was hoping to have with him because of her behavior, because of the satisfaction that she got out of embarrassing him, I'm hearing. This woman has embarrassed this King of Wands. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. Like, y'all, well, we already been clarified it. Look what came out, child. The Six of Swords in reverse. Like, this woman was told to move on to calmer waters to leave this man alone and she refused even possibly after like it's literally out here like that like after she caused this major tower in his life she was told you know you need to give up on this partnership that you're trying to have with this man and move on because it's not happening i'm sure he even told her that I'm sure a number of people told her that. I'm picking up that, you know, she got it a lot of ways that she need to let this connection go, but she refused to move on. See, that's where it really got bad. That's when people really was like, okay, something might really be off with this Ace of Pentacles. Her refusal to move on, that's what truly exposed her. Her refusal to let it go, okay? So, you know, she did it to herself. Mm. We have the Queen of Wands. We know Queen of Wands at a high vibration. You already know what I'm going to say. A very bold, beautiful, and brave woman. She not going to step away from anything. She not going to back down. And this is why I feel like this Queen of Wands is coming out behind this Six of Swords in reverse because this woman refused to back down. Okay? She refused to back down. Let me tell y'all what just popped in my head. I need to mention, y'all go stream that spiritual sleep, child. I'm trying to tell you, okay? Stream it. That's all I can say. You know, I'm going to mention it. It just popped in my head, literally. I feel like this woman need to stream some damn spiritual sleep, okay? Because she are some escaping the matrix, detoxing, healing from trauma. She need to go stream all that shit who I'm picking up on because she need to chill. She need to take a rest. Look, what's on the damn bottom of the car? I'm telling y'all I was picking up on the binaural beats because this woman really need to start trying to heal herself with this hermit here. She really need to start trying to do better. F figure out what had her out here acting up like this. Because I'm talking about she showed her natural ass behind this king of wands. Behind this love offer. This woman was out here looking like the five of pentacles and the devil. Behind this knight of cups love offer. Okay. And see, that's a whole huge difference from an ace of pentacles that's a very stark 
contrast from an ace of pentacles okay so you trying to come back and behave in this gracious pristine oh i would never do anything like that energy child boo girl <laughs> all this shit you been out here doing you was out here acting like the five of pentacles and the devil child over this man love offer that you still didn't secure. So you did all of that to still end up empty handed. Okay. I'm getting that now. So it's like Holy Spirit. You know. What's going to be the solution to this? What's going to be the outcome to this? Because she still is very. Her perception of reality is warped. This woman is still out here trying to act like she ain't do all this shit. That everybody saw her ass do. Like, we all fucking crazy. And we ain't see her do this shit. Okay? That's what I'm hearing people say now. That this woman really out here acting like... Like, I just... Y'all, I've been hearing people... Like, I've, I've heard... I hear people. But lately, especially in these past few days, I have been hearing people conversations. Like, straight up. 1616 16 on the phone. I be down... Mmm... Okay, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody was like, she really out here acting like we didn't see her act like that. I heard somebody say that. And people really just like, girl, ain't no way you think you're going to recover and jump back into this Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles energy after you was out here acting like the damn Five of Pentacles with the devil. The Six of Swords in the reverse with the Queen of Wands. She was like, fuck that. Hell no, I ain't going. Okay? Heavy, heavily persistent on making this Four of Wands connection happen with this King of Wands. And what's crazy is they ain't coming out here as each other's match in no kind of way, child. Shit, this man wasn't invested at all. Not a little bit. We have the magician. No matter what action she took, this man still went on his merry little way with this eight of cups now. And is celebrating with another. I'm picking up too. With this eight of cups to the three of cups to the world. That's why she started acting crazy. Because he dropped her and went and started celebrating. Look, having a victory with another. He communicated to her how he felt. And he went and moved on and had a victory elsewhere. This woman also, that I'm getting with this page of wands, she feels like she can still have a victory somehow. I'm picking that up, y'all. Like, not necessarily with this king of wands anymore. Okay, look what was on the bottom. This woman still feel like she can have justice. Possibly with this King of Wands. We got down 1818 on the phone. We got the Six of Cups on the bottom. But I also feel like the Six of Cups talks about how she thinks she can return to her past. She can return to how she used to be. You know, she can make it seem like she's still that person. But honey, the proof is in the pudding. And the proof is how you behave in this connection with this man. I'm telling y'all, this thick woman thinks she can move on and go back to appearing like this pinnacle energy with this nine of pinnacles here. She she don't think that she got to pay for how she behaved. Like, she think everybody should just sweep it up under the rug. It's given that, okay? But ain't nobody sweeping that shit under, under the rug, baby. That's what I'm hearing. We have the chariot. She want to be able to move on, and she want and people should be allowed to move on. But you have to face the consequences of your actions as well. And this woman wants to run off, run away, and not face the consequences of her actions. Okay, and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. But the truth of the matter is, is that this woman is going to have to face the truth face the consequences face the outcome that everything that you did is why you're in the nine of swords now 
this it's it's not what nobody else did it's what you did it's not because this king of wands going to act right and give you what you wanted because it's i'm hearing that type of shit like this woman was trying to make this man do what she wanted him to do and he wouldn't do it and after he wouldn't do it and she was told to move on from that she still kept doing things still kept trying to force her way into a connection with him and this is what caused everyone's perception of her to change her behavior and she gonna have to admit that it was her her efforts that has her in this current nine of swords situation and trying to pretend like you ain't do all that shit is only making your ass look crazy okay you really need to go through some type of dark night of the soul energy here you know i was just looking and she she i feel like this queen of cups energy is the talking about the level of self-care and nurturing that she needs to practice moving forward you know admit the truth to herself you know figure out what's going on within her heal okay with this queen of cups i feel like this is somebody who is like giving it all to god you know what i'm saying like god i need you to order my steps i need you to put me in the direction that i need to go so that i can get better and heal and do better and be better because what i've done and how i've been behaving that's not the person that i want to be i don't want to be seen in this light so it's something like that dang it's something like that here that she gonna have to do it's part of the healing process. Let me get this card, y'all, that fell one second. Let's see. So, yeah, that's what she gonna have to do. She gonna have to start loving herself and healing herself and asking God to heal her, help her heal from this love that she had for this man that caused her to behave so erratically. I'm talking about y'all. People didn't know. That this woman could act like that. But she's going to have to accept that this queen and king of cups connection that she wanted to be. Is over with. Okay. And that it's time to experience a rebirth in her own life. Because. You cannot go back to who you used to be and how people used to see you. You cannot. That ain't working. They got too much knowledge. Look what was on the bottom, Knight of Pentacles. They have too much knowledge about who you truly are and what you what you can what you about. The action you can take. Okay? So you're gonna have to forge a new beginning for yourself. A new everything because you can't go back to what you used to be i feel like this woman can't even go back to what she used to have it's like she ruined a lot for herself by behaving the way that she did with this king of wands and and it's like she can't she really kind of don't have to start from scratch type of vibe like she really gonna have to start from the ground up and rebuilding her character and showing who she is proving herself and a lot of arenas, okay? With this two of wands energy here, that's what her future is going to entail. Showing people that she ain't in that same energy that she's recently been portraying because this didn't dried up everything for this woman. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, this woman is not. She took a lot of losses behind how she acted with this masculine here, okay? All because she wanted him to love her and want to be with her like she wanted to be with him. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else that you want us to know here? Any final messages? We have the Five of Cups and we have the Five of Wands. Coming to terms with the internal chaos and conflict within her. I feel like that's what this is about. Okay. Her realizing that, you know, this is my fault, you know, but I have to heal 
this anger, this energy, this conflict within me if I want to be able to move forward in a positive way because I can't go back to who I used to be. That person is not there anymore. That person no longer exists. I'm here. Okay? It's time to heal. It's time to face those inner demons and, and ask God to release those strongholds off of your life. Okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps somebody. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I will be back soon with another one. Peace.